Okay, hello PJ, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, so you are the well representative for HUM in the UK, is that correct? Yeah, I'm. Uh, thanks for having me by the way Gabby, appreciate it. Um, I'm the CEO of HUM in the UK and Ireland. Um, and yeah, lovely to get the opportunity to speak with you today to explain who we are and what we do. Excellent. So HUM, I know a little bit about from, from speaking to your colleagues, but I think it'd be really good just to start off the interview with what is HUM, what do you do, and what are you hoping to bring to dentistry? Yeah, a really good question. I guess for us, um, you know, whether we like it or not, we are associated with the buy now, pay later space. Um, but we wouldn't actually see ourselves as a buy now, pay later. And the main reason for that being that basically what we do here at home is we split your payments from anything from £1 out as far as £30,000 over a term as short as four fortnights and out as long as 72 months. And for us, you know, it's about giving the customer choice. So when I look at other players in the industry, um, they offer a customer one way to pay, it might be in four, it might be in six, it might be in 10. But here at home, we basically say to the customer, you tell us what you want and we'll make it happen to make sure that it fits in to your budget uh, and okay. not uh, around what we want to do and what we want to offer. Okay. And why do you think this is so, why is this something that you think could be so beneficial for dentistry in the UK? Yeah, the main thing with dentistry, I guess, um, it is so expensive. And you know, when you <laughs> think to confidence, we'd speak to a lot of customers and we'd ask simple questions. Um, why do you invest so much when it comes to, to this space? Uh, and a lot of it comes back to confidence. And we all know if we feel more confident in ourselves, we're happier. Uh, and when we're happier, obviously, we're living a fuller life uh, and everything becomes a lot easier. So for us, we look at where we can make a difference. And we really, really believe that we can make a difference in this industry because, you know, like I said at the start, we can give the customer an option to split those, you know, expensive um, transactions over maybe 36, yeah. 48 months, whatever it is they need to make it affordable. And I'm just saying smile, it could be many different things, but to get that smile that they really want and deserve. Yeah, absolutely. I think now's a really big time for dentistry as well with private dentistry, particularly in the UK, coming on leaps and bounds in recent years and, and recent months, in fact, after the pandemic. I think something like this is very attractive for those people looking to invest in their teeth and their smile and their health. And I think what would be really good to know as well is for dentists and dental teams who might want to implement HUM into the practice, what, what is that easily done? What's kind of the process behind that? Yeah, very easily done. So again, I guess when I speak about a customer, we have two customers. So we would see our partners as our customers. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's, it's our aim to make sure that we give them a great service. And part mm -hmm. of offering a great service is you have to be very seamless. And everything we do is API driven. So you know, depending on the platform that the, the potential partner is using, we can implement or integrate within, you know, couple of minutes or depending if it's a standalone and bespoke build in-house that can take a couple of days uh, but again what we do is we hand over our developers to the potential partner uh, and they do the work uh, alongside their integration team uh, and make sure it's again as, as simple and seamless as possible so we've yet to meet a platform that we couldn't integrate with so uh, <laughs> yeah. pride not much work for the dental practices themselves then really it's quite quite an easy thing to introduce into their practice environment yeah absolutely again it does differ um from platform provider to platform provider but again it's we, we simplify everything um we do most of the work uh, we do it all where we can uh but yeah. a lot of partners like to have their own tech team um i suppose overlooking and helping to make sure that uh -huh. down to their standard as well which is great oh, cool. I'm being yeah yeah i guess everyone has their own way of doing things i think dentists as well can be quite specific i think about how things are done so that's uh, good to know for those looking to kind of fit it in with their own plan and their own way of working um so what 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 sets you apart because i know there's been some people who have tried to 
do what you do or perhaps aren't doing it quite to the level they hope to be. And obviously you here have offered a opportunity for both both patients and, and dental practices. And I think one thing that they may be wondering is is why harm? Why what can you do um, differently to which to what other companies might not be able to offer? Yeah, look, that's a really good question, I guess. Um, it's one I get asked daily. So a lot of people would say to us, why you come to the UK market? Um, mm. When we done our DD on the UK market, we found what we believe to be a, a really big gap in this space for a transparent, fair provider. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, everything that we're going to do from upfront marketing, the whole way to taking the customer throughout the purchase, will be built around the customer. So mm -hmm. example of that will be, you know, if someone is applying with home for finance, they will know upfront that it's finance. Um, mm -hmm. We'll do right by them as well. We'll do the correct uh, credit checks to make sure obviously the customer isn't already in financial hardship. And um, what comes off the back of that then, Gabby, is, you know, we're sending a better customer to that practice. Uh, mm -hmm. And that practice then can, you know, um, sleep well at night to know that there's not going to be any brand damage because we do the right okay. front and for uh -huh. us our strategy is, is, is very different than the rest we want to be around for the long term so that yeah. means we're not obsessed about making money quick up front because mm. our strategy is very simple we onboard good customers from day one but how we actually end up making money because everyone asks the same question is that we have a customer for years and years and they make multiple purchases throughout their life cycle um, yeah. and we make money off the back of that. We do not make money off of the first time transaction, nor do we want to. Um, yeah. And I guess where we're different, um, it's our goal to be here long term and to be market leaders in transparent finance. Mm. I think that kind of approach is very appealing. To dentistry in particular because obviously that's very much built on things like word of mouth and trust and and giving people a, a great first impression so that they know to come back to you whenever they want further treatment or um yeah further work done basically so i think that's um very runs parallel really to dentistry so i can see how that can nicely fit in with how practices can go about their yeah go about their their day-to-day -day. what um what what do you think this can do for the the current backlog of of dental work in the UK because obviously the pandemic has had a far-reaching effect in, in all realms of life but in dentistry in particular it's meant that there's a lot of people waiting for dental work and they can't quite get it so is this is this going to help practices sort of tackle that backlog a little bit easier? Oh yeah look I, I suppose there's a couple of different ways you can look at that so if it's a backlog from not being able to get the finance to actually pay for the procedure absolutely all day long it will um, again, for us, I suppose we look at the opportunity and a lot of customers that we would have spoke to, they keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because of yeah. purposes. Um, yeah. And look, I suppose our main goal um, is to make that budget available where it doesn't affect their overall um, lifestyle that they currently have. Because we're yeah. well aware life must go on and we're not out to, you know, get people to spend money they don't have. We're out to help people budget to get what they want because they can actually afford to pay it back. Um, yeah, of we wouldn't be the, the provider that would actually, um, I guess, advance funds if we uh, have done our checks and believe the customer can't afford to repay. Um, yeah. Again, we pride ourselves on that whole transparent uh, and flexible financier. Um, but to answer your question, we'll make it easier to budget to get what you really need done. And I guess for the, the, the practices, it means you get paid up front. So that means your cash flow will be a lot better and you can actually mm -hmm. you know use that cash flow maybe to buy more materials, maybe to uh, bring on more help, whatever it might be. Um, so we, you know, we talk a lot about being a partner. We're not just a finance provider. We come in and we sit down with the partner and we actually put a plan together to see how we can add more value than anyone else that's in the market uh, and that upfront payment um, is key that's what we keep hearing from our partners that you know if they were waiting for that in stages um, it's a little bit more difficult to manage cash flow whereas if you're yeah. paying for the full procedure up front 
um, obviously to have more cash flow to play with to, I guess, yeah. he is grow out that practice and, and get bigger and bigger. Absolutely. That's such a, a key thing at the moment, I think, among practice owners is to expand with this ever-growing landscape of private dentistry. I think that's um, at the forefront of a lot of dentists' minds and dental teams' minds. So that's a, an appealing prospect, an opportunity for them. I think what's really interesting there, as you said, it's, it's, it's slightly different to how things are done traditionally. So, so how, are, how is this different to traditional dental finance companies? How does, what kind of sets you apart from that approach? Yeah, look, um, it's funny, right? Because I suppose I've been in the industry such a long time. Um, for years, it was always our mission to digitize this space, which we have. But on the way through, we did realize that, you know, certain industries like doing things certain ways. And mm. in, in this space, it's really interesting because you have some practices that absolutely love how digital you are. And then you have other practices that don't want to be that digital. And here at home, again, we listen to our customers. So everything that we build, we build it configurable. So if you're a practice and you want to be very hands-on, uh, we can give you the ability to be the hands-on. Um, we don't recommend it, however, because I guess, you know, where we really add value is because we're so digital, we do all the work with the customer. And what mm. we do with that is we have apps, you can do your application on the web, um, yeah. and we send the customer in that with an approval to use. So it means, okay. you know, the receptionist or whoever looks after that side of the house doesn't actually have to sit down with the customer and do the application mm -hmm. for them. Now, that said, if you want it to be that process, we can absolutely work with you and, you know, build out that process for you. And it's really, really simple. But again, for us to be really adding value, we would like to say, well, actually, we're not going to tie up the receptionist. Receptions can get on with, you know, other tasks because home is so digital. Um, we just do all the work. And, you know, with GDPR as well, um, I know it's, it's, it's something that a lot of people um, are probably tired of speaking about, but it's something that is going to get more serious and serious. And with um, home, again, we take away the risk of having to, you know, scan documentation, upload documentation for the customer. Definitely. Again, we do that all ourselves uh, with the customer via the app. Mm. I think speeding up processes for dental team members at the moment is a very is something that they all want. Uh, receptionists, you know, the amount of times I've talked to dentists and dental teams, and they just, I'm receptionists who say, you know, they spend so much time on the phones and doing that admin work, they have no time to do anything else. It's um. Yeah, efficiency, I think, is at the core of what dental practices obviously always want to want to be doing, but particularly now when they've got all these patients who are interested in investing in their themselves and their health and, and how they look. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's key at the moment. Thank you very much for shining a light on, on what you do and what you are offering for the dental market, because I think there'd be a lot of people who are interested in this.